guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing my monthly new and beauty haul. I love doing this every month. So grab yourself a coffee like I have. Sit back, relax, because we are going to be swatching through a bunch of new products that are launching or have launched. And I'm really excited for this because there's actually a bunch of new brands that I'm going to be featuring in this video, which is always exciting for me to find out new brands to share with you guys. And the first one I wanted to mention, we're just going to jump right in is from Deck of Scarlet. And this is a new subscription service. You might have seen this already if you watch a lot of YouTube like I do. And what's really exciting about this, it's actually curated by fellow YouTubers. So it's really exciting for me to see fellow YouTubers get to design their own deck. This retails for $29.95. It ships every two months. So you're not getting this every single month. It's every two months and you can opt out of getting a palette if you're not feeling it or if you want to cancel, you can cancel at any time. This isn't a subscription service where you're locked in for a year or anything like that, which is nice. So they do ship to Canada now, which is really important for me as I am Canadian. So this is our first Canadian doing the Deck of Scarlet and it's Sandra Deluxe. She is so gorgeous, you guys. She's super talented on Instagram and YouTube. You gotta check her out. I'll put her handle in the video. But she is our first Canadian doing the box and I'm really excited to share it with you guys. It is so beautiful. I love what she did with this month's deck of Scarlet. She has this black rose on the packaging on the outside. It comes with an eyeliner in Anarchy. It's a black, which is right in this foam. You can see it's nice and tightly packaged in there, which I can appreciate. If you guys order a lot of makeup online, I'm sure you can appreciate the packaging of this as well. So you just pull off the sleeve and here's the palette. It's very luxurious. It's really good quality if you feel it. It's not cheap at all, so you're paying for really good packaging as well. When you lift up this one side, you have two lip products, which I like because it's not going to get contaminated by the powder products on the other side. So I like what they did with the packaging there. There's also a sleeve that covers the makeup and a nice big mirror in here for you to see. Then inside you have those two lip products, as I said, a lip liner, three eyeshadows, a bronzer, and a highlight. And the bronzer you can use as a crease blending out shade, which I love. I really think Sandra did a great job with the color scheme in here. You can do some deep dramatic looks, but you can also do some really great daytime looks. I love the nude lip product that she has in here. They're very creamy, they're glossy formula. And then you have the bronzer, which you can also use multi-purpose as a crease shade and then your highlight, which is super beautiful. So I've done some daytime looks with just the bronzer and the crease, the highlight on my lid, and then I've also done a pretty dramatic look, which I put on Instagram. I love that you can create an entire look with this, day or night. It's paraben-free, cruelty-free, made in the USA, and you can cancel at any time if you want to sign up for this subscription service. The next package I have to talk about is from Maybelline and I figured I'd do this one next because I am wearing a couple of the products on my lips and figure you guys probably would wanna know my lip combo, which I've been absolutely loving lately and it's from the drugstore. So really excited for their new Intimate lipstick, which they included four shades in here, which I will share with you. They also have this Suck It Up lollipop they included for Valentine's Day and they have really interesting flavors. They have turmeric, pepper, cardamom, cayenne, saffron, lemon, and coffee flavor. Maybe I should actually try one of these. I think I'm gonna go with cayenne. This one looks like cayenne to me, so I'm going to try that. I like spicy things. This is like a sweet and spicy. It's, it's actually not bad. <laughs> I was thinking it was not gonna be good, but I actually don't mind it. I'm gonna save you for later. They have these new Color Sensational Intimate Nudes. And I'm pretty sure I featured two in my last haul. They are already available at Ulta. I checked online. And I think these might be launching in Canada on Valentine's Day because that's what I'm getting by this little card here. But they could be out already. And they're $9.99 a lipstick. They also have some lip pencils included, which are $7.99 each. They sent me four of the shades, and I know for a fact I swatched Almond Rose last time, so I'll save that for a giveaway. On my lips right now, which I'm sure a lot of you are curious if you love really light nude shades like I do. This is in the shade Hot Sand, and it's just a beautiful nude shade, super light, and I paired it with one of the lip liners they had included, which is from the Color Sensational line as well, and it's in the shade Magnetic Mauve. So really love these two paired, Hot Sand, Magnetic Mauve. It created that lip color I'm using right now, and I love the formula of these Maybelline lipsticks. 
They're super creamy and opaque and just this is the perfect nude in my opinion. It's a new favorite of mine. I'm sure a lot of you will like it as well. It is quite light as I said. So I do like to pair it with a darker lip liner just to blend it in a little bit better. And then we have raw chocolate, which is really pretty if you're into brown shades like I am. And then we have naked coral, which I love corals. Yeah, that's really pretty for the springtime. I love coral shades, so definitely going to be getting use out of these. There are 10 shades in total in the line. I think I have two other shades, so I have five in total now. I definitely want to check out some of the lighter ones because they look really pretty. Next, Nail Her sent me over a bunch of different shades of nails. And if you guys watch my videos, you know I'm always wearing their nails. I'm wearing the shade Nike right now, which is in the Squiletto shape which are coffin nails. I really like these snap-on manicures which you just glue onto your own nails because they don't ruin your natural nail underneath. And I don't like wearing long nails all the time. So I don't get my nails done, I just use these. It just works with my lifestyle. I love the look of long nails but I can't wear them during the week just because of my kids and changing diapers. I just find it, they just get in the way for me personally. So this is a really great option for myself. The Nike ones that I'm wearing right now are a uh, holy grail for me. I always get these. I've purchased these in the past. They have sent me them. I am affiliated with Nail Her, so I do have a coupon code with them. And I have a bunch of styles to share with you. I have the Sweet Pink in the style Squiletto, which I was wearing in my Valentine's Day video. I have the Pink Gray in the style Squiletto. I have the Vanilla in Squiletto as well. Starting to lose meaning since I'm saying Squiletto all the time. <laughs> Does that ever happen to you guys? Words start losing meaning. And then I have a clear set, which I've never actually tried before, which I wanted to use with one of the new Kathleen Lights polishes, which I picked up. I wanted to try it on top of the clear ones and see how that works for me. And then the last one I have is actually a stiletto one in the style marble, which you've seen me wear before. And it's one of my favorite styles. So I wanted to get another one of these. And I do have a coupon code with Nail Her, as I mentioned, I am affiliated with them, but they are my favorite press-on nails. Then Max sent over a bunch of their shades from the new Color Rocker collection. I also ended up going online and purchasing four of the shades as well. They probably won't be here in time for this video. If they are, I will include swatches of those as well. However, MAC did send me over nine shades. One is the new Viva Glam. This collection is super colorful as the name suggests, so I have a ton of really bright and bold shades if you're into that. We have some blue, teal, green, a bunch of really out there colors, which I think is really fun. I definitely wanna do a colorful look. Let me know which color you want to see me do a Instagram post on or wear. I'd love to take a poll on YouTube as well to see which color you guys wanna see me rock. And then they also have the new Viva Glam that they sent me, which is so pretty. They remind me of the Giambattista Valley collection with the colored packaging. I wish MAC would do this more often, match the color inside to the packaging, because I just think it's really pretty. So I love this shade for Viva Glam. All proceeds go to their foundation for HIV and AIDS. And look how pretty that is. I think it's perfect for Valentine's Day. And I believe the launch date for this is February 2nd which might actually be around when this video goes up. Really beautiful if you're interested in the Viva Glam. As I said, all proceeds go to the HIV AIDS fund, which is awesome. Then L'Oreal sent over a package, which I've been waiting to try. I'm really excited for this. This is their infallible lip paints, and they have a couple other products in here as well. Inside there are 12 of the infallible lip paints, which I will swatch for you guys. They also have the infallible paints blush, and I'm actually wearing one of the shades on my cheeks today if you're curious as to what's on my cheeks. It's this really beautiful, if I can get this out, my nails. It's this really beautiful peach tone blush. I love how it looks on the cheeks. I am wearing it today as I said. I love the color selection they included in this palette. They're all matte, really pretty, super vibrant. As I said, I'm really loving that one shade I'm using on my cheeks today. In the package as well, there's also these infallible paints liquid liners which I'm excited to try. A bunch of really cool colors. Initially, when I looked at this, my eyes were immediately drawn to this wild green because I don't have anything like that. And my daughter was helping me open this on Snapchat and she really liked the electric blue. So I will swatch these for you guys. The tip is a felt tip, which I love. 
You can create really, really thin lines with this and it's easy to wing out your aligner with these felt tips. Super pigmented, you can create really thin lines with these. I wanna use these in a tutorial to see how they wear on the eye, but so far from swatching them, I'm really impressed. For the infallible paints themselves, they're really opaque glosses, which I love. These are super pigmented, glossy, and this shade would just match perfectly with what I'm wearing right now. I instantly was drawn to the nude, obviously, but I love that they've included some really fun colors. Then Gerard Cosmetics is coming out with four new lip pencils which I love. They've included some chocolates in here, which I already got into. <laughs> surprise, surprise. And they are coming out with four lip liners for Valentine's Day. And they're really pretty colors. So I'll give you a little sneak peek at what these colors look like. We have Sugar and Spice, Mudslide, Red Brick Road, and Night Shift. Those are what the colors look like. And I really love the formula of these lip pencils because they remind me of the MAC Pro Longwear. They're super creamy, very opaque. They just glide on the lips effortlessly. They're one of my favorite lip pencil formulas. Then Smashbox sent over a little care package for myself and they've included one of their liquid lipsticks, which I didn't have. They're my favorite liquid lipstick formula. And then I was looking on Sephora and saw that they had the shade In Demand, which I didn't have, surprisingly. It's just a beautiful shade. I'm so shocked that I didn't actually have this one. It looks like almost everything I'm showing you that I like, but this isn't the kind of color that I love. Then they also sent over their Photo Finish Foundation Primer, which you guys know is the first primer I've ever tried. And they seem to always be sending this over, so it will definitely go on another giveaway for you guys, which is nice. More products for you. And then they also sent over their Hydrating Photo Finish Primer, which I've never tried before. One of my favorites from them is their pore filling one, but you guys know I also like hydrating primers for the rest of my face. And this one is really, really nice. So I've been enjoying this in the winter and I've never tried it before. So then I've also never tried their Always Sharp Lip Liners and they sent over the shade Sienna which will go along with that lip color perfectly. I have worn the combo together and really liked it. That's what the lip pencil looks like. The Be Legendary lipsticks have been out for a little bit. They sent me over four of the shades to try in the shade Chai, which I was really excited for, Safe Word, which is a safe color for me, which is a matte, and then two other matte shades. We have Punked and Plum Roll, which are really pretty, excited to play around with these. So far, I really love the formula of these. I don't find the mattes overly drying, which is nice. And the shade Chai is something different that I've never tried. And I've really been enjoying that kind of color. One of the things I'm actually most excited for and really happy to share with you guys, because if you've been following me for a while, you know last year in my yearly favorites, I really enjoyed the Belief Overnight Brightening Mask. However, Sephora stopped carrying belief for Canadians. If you're in the US, then this isn't an issue for you. But for my fellow Canadians, they actually stopped carrying belief there. I wasn't sure of where to pick it up. There wasn't any place that I could really easily access it. However, now Belief has launched in Canada officially. You can pick Belief up in places that may be close by to you now. And they now carry this at Fairview Park Mall. They have specific stores where you can pick up Belief now in Canada, which is so great because they're one of my favorite skincare brands, but I wasn't able to easily get it. And this is the First Aid Overnight Brightening Mask. So excited that they sent along this care package for me. And I'm just so happy to have this back in my life because this was my favorite skincare product of 2015 and I haven't been able to repurchase it since. They also sent over two of their really popular True Creams. One is the Aqua Balm, which is more suitable for those with normal to oily skin, and then the Moisturizing Balm, which is suitable for those with normal to dry. I'll definitely be trying out both of these. I used to use the Moisturizing Balm until I wasn't able to get this in Canada. <laughs> so so happy, like I'm, I'm so happy that I can get this now, because as I said, it was one of my favorite brands and it was really hard for me to get. And then they also sent over two other products which I've never tried before, which I'll have to get back to you on. The first is the Creamy Cleansing Foam for normal to dry skin. And then the Milky Hydra Balancing Moisturizer, which is good for normal to combination skin. I have two more companies to go through. Avon sent over some products to try. I haven't really tried Avon. I know it's one of those things that you have to order through a consultant and I've just never done that, but I'm interested in trying these products. 
Anyways, they also have the brand Mark, which they sent in a Valentine's Day set in here. This just came the other day, so I haven't had a chance to use these products yet. So I can't give you a full opinion on everything, but I will show you them nonetheless. In Avon case, they came with this really pretty, vibrant pouch. And inside they have a nail buffing brush, which retails for $2.99. And then this Avon True Color Cuticle Conditioner, which I can always use because I'm dry as can be, as you guys know. They also have this Skin So Soft Original Bath Oil. You can use this in your bath or in the shower. And this got really good reviews. Apparently this is a cult classic, I believe. So I'm excited to try it out because I've never really tried Avon, believe it or not. And then they also have a bunch of moisturizing products, which I'm excited to have for my dry skin. <laughs> this is the Ultra Hydration Body Lotion, and then they have the Ultra Hydration Body Scrub. So two products that I'll definitely be trying. And then from Marc, they have this makeup case, which has an interesting shift to it, if you can see that. It's really cute. This retails for $20, I believe. Then inside they have this little Valentine's Day set, and it includes a hand cream, a bubble bath, and a body butter. I've never tried anything from Marc. I know they have cosmetics as well, which I'm curious to try. However, I'm always up for trying some new skincare. This smells really good, like a sweet florally, what is that? It reminds me of something. It smells really good, has a lot of coconutty products inside. So I'll definitely be trying this out as well. So thank you to Avon for sending these over for me to try. Then the last package is from Ardency Inn, which has some amazing cosmetics. They actually let me pick out a bunch of things to try out. So this is really exciting because I got to pick out all these products and I'm going to show you everything I picked out. There's a bunch of things in here. The first thing I was really interested in trying, I've actually used one of these before in the past and love it. They're so pigmented. They're the Monster Manuka Honey Enriched Pigments. I have a purple shade, which is so gorgeous. So they let me pick out a few more. Here I have Rose Gold Peacock Orchid Vintage Gold in Heaven. I absolutely love these. I already knew I would. They're extremely pigmented, super soft and creamy, and just an amazing formula all around. So definitely highly recommend these. Next, I picked out the Americana Soft Focus Moisturizer. It looked really interesting. I'm thinking about doing a full video of first impressions and just trying a bunch of new products out if you guys wanna see that. I always love watching them myself. So I'll definitely probably do that with a bunch of these. I may actually do a first impression video on this if you guys are interested. It's the Americana Custom Coverage Concentrate in Medium Beige. This is their foundation. However, the shade, I'm not sure if this is gonna work for me. It definitely won't now because I have no self tan on. I got this for when I'm tan. That's what the color looks like. It's really pretty. However, it's just not going to match me right now, but I'll definitely do a foundation first impression if you're curious on this. I love the idea of custom coverage and it feels really nice. The color is really beautiful. It's super pigmented. Like that little amount is just blending for days and it's covering absolutely everything. It has a really pretty soft finish. You can see that. So yeah, I'm really excited for that. That's why I picked it out. It looked really nice to me from reviews and what I was checking out prior. Then they sent over their Instant Lash Enhancing Mascara, four of their Smooth Ride Supercharged Eyeliners, and I have the shades Black, Gold, Cream, and Jade. I picked out all those shades because they're all ones that I would use. I got the Black and Cream because those are my most used. However, for color-wise, that Gold and Jade were screaming my name, so I picked out those to try. Then I also wanted to try out one of their lipsticks. This is the Monster Long Play Supercharged Lip Color in Kids in America. It's a nude shade, obviously and I just wanted to give it a try. I've tried one of their lipsticks in the past. It was a much deeper shade and I loved it, but this is what that Kids in America looks like. Just a really pretty pinky nude. And I love the packaging on this because it's magnetic. Just really sleek and I love that. And then I also picked out two pigments to try. I love pearlescent colors like this. And I just thought it would be a great place to start. Go really deep with that black one and then go really light with the white. That's what I picked up from Ardency Inn and that's actually everything for this haul. So I hope you guys enjoyed what's new in beauty, all the things that I picked out for PR or that were sent to me. Thank you so, so much for watching. Thank you to all the companies 
who sent me products this past month. I really appreciate it. Without you guys watching and supporting my channel, this would not be possible. So huge thank you to you guys as always. You guys know I'm so appreciative of your support and your love on the daily. It means the world to me. I'll get emotional if I talk about it. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, if you made it to the end, if you watched all the way through. I know these videos can be pretty long, but I just love spending my Saturday mornings playing with makeup and showing you guys what's new on the market. So thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video.